Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the forgotten conflicts of the 20th century. In July 1977, a war known as Ogaden War broke out between Ethiopia and Somalia. This conflict between two African nations never attracted much attention, but military aviation enthusiasts can find it rather interesting. Two of the most popular fighter jets clashed there for the first time, F-5 and MiG-21. Another curious element is a change in political alliances that took place just before and during the conflict, but more on that later. Ogaden is a region within internationally recognized borders of Ethiopia. It was acquired by this nation in late 19th century under a deal with European colonial powers. Ethiopia was an independent African nation, unlike pretty much the rest of Africa. The problem lied in the fact that Ogaden was populated by a large number of ethnic Somalis. As Somalia gained independence in 1960, one of the national priorities became unification of all the territories where Somalis lived, which included Ogaden. Let's now focus on air forces of both nations. Ethiopia tried a different approach after World War II and first established a relationship with Sweden, which provided aircraft, training and even leadership to their air force. This began to change in 1950s and eventually USA became the primary ally of Ethiopia. First, they acquired F-86 Sabres, followed by F-5A and B Freedom Fighters, although without Sidewinder missiles. Ethiopian Air Force's approach was quality over quantity. They only accepted the most capable candidates, which would then often be sent to USA, where they received very comprehensive training. This included air combat maneuvers. Somalia, on the other hand, relied mostly on Soviet Union for equipment and training. They first acquired MiG-17 fighters and later, in 1974, MiG-21MF. Soviet Union generally provided a much lower level of pilot training to their allies. Often, foreign students would receive little more than basic training. When Somalia purchased MiG-21s, it took a rather unique approach. They formed two new squadrons, and with the exception of several commanding officers, they didn't convert any of their experienced MiG-17 pilots to the new type. Instead, most of around 30 pilots and a similar number of ground crew came fresh from jet conversion courses in the USSR. After basic type qualifications, they then received minimum combat training in Somalia. Most of these pilots hadn't even owned a bicycle before. In early 1970s, Ethiopia was a strong ally of the USA, while Somalia had very close ties with the USSR. This started to change in 1974, when Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie was overthrown in a military coup. The country was taken over by a junta known as Derg, D-E-R-G. Even though they showed clear tendencies towards Marxism, USA continued to provide military support for a while. Final delivery of military aircraft included eight F-5E Tiger II fighters, this time fully equipped for air combat. The total order was 16, but USA finally stopped delivering weapons to Ethiopia in 1976 because of human rights violations. In early 1977, just months before the beginning of the war, Ethiopia started to develop close ties with the USSR. This eventually resulted in delivery of military equipment, arrival of Soviet advisors, and even direct military support by Cuba. Somalia felt betrayed by this and in November 1977 broke all ties with Soviet Union, expelling all of their military advisors from the country. It is now 24 July 1977 and we are flying with a pair of Ethiopian F-5Es, flown by Mengistu Kasai and Besbi Petros. They were vectored to intercept a pair of Somali MiG-21s which were apparently trying to intercept an Ethiopian transport aircraft. Somali ground invasion of Ogaden commenced on 13 July. Since Ethiopian military was already fighting a rebellion there, it took them several days until they even realized that it was Somali regular forces attacking them. Ethiopia lost one F-5A, which was shot down by an SA-7 Strela. Then came the first air-to-air -air kill of the war, in which Somali MiG-17 shot down an Ethiopian C-47 transport plane. Only then, Ethiopian fighters began to fly regular combat air patrols and protect their transport aircraft. The 
two Ethiopian pilots, Mengistu Kasai and Bezabi Petros, were skillfully guided by ground radar controllers. They rolled out directly behind the two Somali MiGs. Mengistu to engage the Somali leader, but without success. The MiG pilot managed to escape. The second MiG-21 was successfully shot down by Bezabi Petros, employing an MI-9 Sidewinder. This wasn't some complex dogfight, rather a successful ground control interception. But this was the first ever encounter between the two classic fighters, F-5, in MiG-21. The result was a clear victory for the American design and pilot training. In fact, this wasn't just a fluke. The very next day, three Ethiopian F-5s encountered four Somali MiG-21s escorting the same number of MiG-17s. The clash ended with the Somalis losing no less than six aircraft. The leading fighter pilot of the war, Lagesi Tefera, shot down three of them. Two MiG-21s collided with each other and one more crash maneuvering on low altitude. Reenactment of this battle will probably wait until MiG-17 becomes available for DCS World. I hope you liked the video, be sure to press the like button if you did. If you're able to, you can support the channel on Patreon. Subscribe if you haven't already and keep watching Showtime 112.